Okay, guys, back again. Trying to get this Poland scenario um, to go through. I don't know if the file sizes are too big or what. So, we're probably going to cut this one down to maybe 20 or 25 minutes and have to break it up in maybe three videos. Anyway, here we go. Okay, so this is after the Madrid scenario. Only out of my core units, the only thing is I'm going to keep are the uh, 4D, which uh, Panzer 4D, which I got as a uh, prototype, and the Stuka, and my Pioneer unit. Everything else I am going to reassign because for units with little to no experience, it's much more cost effective to do that than upgrade. Okay, so we're down to three units, and now with over 2,500 prestige points to be able to shop. So, uh, 4D is not available yet, but 4C is. It's not quite as good against soft targets, but we'll go with one of those. The uh, Hands of 38 and 35s, those are not really German tanks. Those were, I think, reverse engineered uh, Czech tanks. I believe they're Polish tanks. And they're okay. They're not bad, but they're a bit more expensive. Uh, same price as the 4C, but more uh, better on hard targets. Same thing with the Panzer 35. It's just not as good. Uh, but I think the better option and cheaper is the 3E. So we'll get a couple of those for hard targets. And the Pioneer. Another Stuka would be great. As well as a Fighter. Let me go back and see what all I have. All right, we're going to need some more artillery. And could get by with only uh, one artillery in. But I like to go ahead and get two to get some experience building because they are slow to build. I go with the truck transports because the tractor will over 100 prestige points more. Uh, you just have to be a little more careful with uh, not exposing your artillery when it's lumbered. You'll need uh, some tractor recon, a bit better than these. Uh, Tracked and armored in these little armored cars. And let's see what else we need. Oh, fighter. Yes, we will need a fighter. And when I first started playing the game, I wanted the BF 109. It's a little cheaper than the Messerschmitt. Um, but I think bang for your buck, longevity, even though they're uh, their numbers are identical uh, other than cost and it just seems to perform better so we'll do one measurement that leaves us really low on prestige but we'll go for another uh, brilliant victory and hopefully another uh, prototype unit like this tank saved us uh, quite a bit and go from there all right to deployment okay And before we start deploying, take a look at the strategic map. Okay, the German flags are your auxiliary units. Of course, those are German cities. So these are two units first came up, a couple of cavalry units. Uh, these guys quickly take this unoccupied city and then swing south and around this town to support um, a smaller force, which I'll deploy here. A uh, little detachment of those guys will kind of follow this tree line around along with the cavalry. There's a couple of uh, artillery pieces and an infantry piece, so they'll uh, they'll take this city and then head south for this victory objective. Um, the rest of my little smaller force here will join these auxiliary units to take this city. There's some resistance over in this tree line and then provide support both for uh, 
Malawa, uh, this town to the south, and this airstrip uh, a little to the east. Uh, the rest of my force will be here with a lot of auxiliaries. You see, it looks like eight. Um, they'll travel southeast along this road. There's some resistance in this tree line. Of course, this is pretty heavily defended, several units around it. And another artillery piece here, one here, one here. We'll use our Stukas to weaken and maybe take out. Uh, they'll turn. After securing all this, they'll turn southeast to take out the final objective of uh, Czech now, from butchering that pronunciation, while the smaller detachment that came through here to the airbase will take um, this victory objective. And note these last two, the green, uh, the AI can reinforce itself. This one, no, but they can resupply here. And I'll also make use with this, uh, this is actually a bridging unit. I'll make use of the available air transport to drop kind of behind lines and secure this air base. Um, air bases are critical because the only one you start with is way, way, way up here. So I'm going to keep that, keep that flying artillery flying and bombing. All right, so here we go. We put our slowest units first. So, Pioneer and the, um, the, um, we're going to put a strong, we're going to put our best soft up there, and across the river, our recon, nothing here, there's part of our auxiliaries, there's another part, and you only have four here, so you kind of have four spots, so you kind of have to be judicious there. Um, I'm going to stick in there so you can get out and take a good look. Artillery. And probably not critical where those guys go. And then our air power. Okay. And we are off. So first thing, let's grab a little Free and easy prestige with these cavalry guns. Um, cavalry units are uh, really valuable. You just have to be judicious with them, no fuel or anything. Um, but they are susceptible to uh, artillery and air attacks. So they're, they're heading down to here. They're going to take out the, a couple of artillery pieces that are surrounding town and maybe provide a little diversion maybe make uh, the AI pull some resources over there to answer uh, I'm not going to put this unit directly beside the uh, city because the AI can see it a little bit of a surprise horse drawn on two Bring our force uh, up. So we'll move our bridging in. Okay. Air power. He has a uh, artillery piece right here, which makes it the devil to try to get um, resistance eliminated here, which kind of supports this town and gets in the way of the airfield. So. We'll address him quickly. And we get to see a cavalry unit and a, I don't know, that's a, I guess that's a tank, a light tank, yeah. Uh, with a leader. Enjoy the star and see what leader he has. Street fighter, okay. So it means he'll do well, like, uh, 
most armor doesn't do real well in cities. Uh, that one will. We'll get try to get some experience uh, uh, strafing this uh, cavalry. Every little bit of experience, especially for a new unit, helps. Those two damage gives them 22 points. So the air units, lesson learned there. Air units attacking ground units get by far the most uh, experience. And I'm going to hold off on that, Stuka. There's another artillery piece back in here, uh, just to make sure I don't miss it. Um, wait till I see a recon. Can't see anything. Make sure we can get our artillery pulled up. He still can't be spotted, neither can any of these guys yet. Now let's see two. So now we have our artillery spotted. Exactly where it is. Get a better peek at his uh, defenses. Start pulling these guys up. These are the guys we want to kind of conserve in this first attack because I'll need their transports to move them further south for the final. And that's turn one. He's thinking. All right. Now, Germany, turn two. Keep kind of hopscotching these cab units down to spot the um, artillery. Right, there we go. And cab units still are undetected because he only has a spot in range of one. This guy can see two, so they're still relatively unknown. Try to protect them as much as possible for as long as possible. And continue with the little bombardment of this artillery. Try to get a little better view. Artillery piece here, I think, with a range of four. So I want to try to keep my guys up here out of the way. I don't know, that's not going to do it. It'll be in range, I'm pretty sure. One, two, yeah. All right, so we, we'll cancel that move. So really this hex or this hex. Okay. Let me 
this and let's see yeah let's slide in there let's slide in here to kind of cover that corner more look at his defenses let's bring our uh, Try to run him around the end here, maybe finish off that artillery. Okay, here, keep pounding that artillery. far ahead too fast because the computer will make you pay for that. So you can maybe snag a little experience. Okay. Like I said, not too much. Still going to bring these guys up. I don't want to really stick them out of here and have them bludgeon and bring these guys actually let's see yeah because his range is only three Let's go around the end. Stuff that can be seen, which is good. Getting ready for its transport. And that's our turn. Tag bomber hurt the three, the four C, which sucks. All right, we'll try to work on this artillery. something else to think about. And I did leave him in view. Um, maybe make force that AI to allocate resources at the I assume we can take care of this tag bomber. Okay. Yeah, 
this one up a bit. Nice kill. Tank sneaking around. Just continue slipping these guys. Okay, so we can't reach him, but we can reach here. Artillery. Hmm. Really have artillery to be able to work on him. The turn. Alright, so significantly weakened. We'll see if the uh, tank can clean up. He's still in range there, so let's pull him here for an attack. Very nice. Tank can probably clean that up. And then we'll bring him in also to try to have a little support from the north. We'll move our artillery closer <coughs> and to uh, kind of sentry that city out to our main force. And he's out of range. He'll be out of range. He's not. Probably slip him up to finish off that artillery. Defenses. Okay, I could take this city with the uh, with uh, my uh, recon, but we're gonna we pull him down. Uh, if I lose him, they'll just they'll just. You know, hit him with everything, try to get the city back and destroy him. So don't want to do that. Um, let's see. Let's see what a three you can do against his tank. Um, not a lot. Not enough. And this guy's pretty tough. We're gonna let him come to us. Yeah, that's interesting. Gotta be uh, kind of careful now because he's down to sixty percent strength. Uh, 
that should be enough. Hopefully he'll forget about my tank. Transport away. Kind of still trying to hide him a little bit. And we'll probably start. turn and we'll probably save it and see if we can okay journey turn four all right I'm gonna end it here um, let it save, export it so I can upload it, and hopefully we're good here. Okay, tune in for part two, probably do another four turns or set, maybe five, maybe six.